What's up guys, Shane here from Figadec 3D Printing and today we're checking out the September 2018 MakerBox. Welcome back guys. I said today is the September 2018 MakerBox, which means this is not the box because there was a group buy recently in, I believe it came out in the July Maker Box and it shipped out into the September and October box. There's two shipments you get into. And it was a group buy for Gecko Tech. And inside of here, because my box is so big, it should be a sheet of 300 by 300. And it was a 30% discount, which I had to get it because at 30 bucks, $10 off. $20 for a $30 sheet, why not? It was definitely well worth it. So yeah, this is the largest maker box I've ever received. That's why it looks a little bit different. They do have a color fab uh, sticker here on the side for their PETG. So maybe there's some color fab PETG in here, I don't know. The box is kind of falling apart, so we're just going to let it and see what came inside. All right, we've got an Ultimaker sticker. We've got a printed solid sticker. We've got gummy bears. And we've got our four filaments. Let's see, Nerd Life. It's like regular life, but with 3D printers. Another little sticker there. Lots of those. Here is my invoice for the Gecko Tech Easy Stick. And here it is. So it's Easy Stick Hot. This is a 300 by 300 millimeter sheet. And this is going to be used on all my large form factor printers, uh, like the FT5, the CR10S, the CR10. You even could use it on the Alphawise U10, but that's a 400 by 400 build plate. I thought about getting a larger sheet for that, but I decided against it, and I don't know why I did. I probably should have just bought it because it was such a good deal, but I'll see if I can find a deal on PEI for that one. Different story. Let's get this out of the way, and let's take a look. We have uh, Algae Maker and Cura, so it's a little advertisement in here for Cura and 10 reasons why it uses, 10 reasons to use Cura to optimize your prints using Algae Maker materials on an Algae Maker 3 or S5, and then there's 10 reasons to try Algae Maker Cura. I am not a Cura fan, a lot of people know that. Uh, I, I, it went from me not liking it to not liking it. There was a middle point where I kind of was starting to like it, but they just started changing things in a way that I didn't agree with. So it's just not a program that I'm a fan of. All right, here is the uh, sheet here. So the Gecko Tech Group Buy, there's still one more month to get into it. The September box, you can get into it. And it uh, works great with Nylon 230 as Nylon came in the July box to try out. And also came with a little sample of it, which was fun to check out. Make sure you guys check that video out. And then it gives you the extremeknowledge.com slash codes. Gives you the code to get in there because all of these have a discount for them. And all of those are different, but uh, it's all listed on the website. And again, the code is specific to the MakerBox people. So if you want to get discounts on these filaments, another good reason to subscribe to MakerBox. Okay, let's see, what do we have up first? We have carbon fiber PETG, or PETG as I like to say, from Push Plastics. And obviously it's a black carbon fiber looking uh, coarse matte material. Let's see, the print settings, hot end temperature 245 to 250, bed 90C, speed is not listed, and but PETG you typically print around 40 millimeters a second. For me on the CR10S is like my PETG absolute master machine. I do about 50 on that and uh, it gets pretty good. I don't usually go above that. The fan offer on low, standard for PETG. Other, it is abrasive, so consider a hardened nozzle. Because they did put this in, I kind of wish they would have gotten a coupon from um, Microswitch, which they've gotten in the past. Luckily, my CR10S is outfitted with a all metal uh, Micro Swiss no uh, hot end and a micro swiss hardened nozzle so uh, this will print on there without a problem uh, it comes into a paragraph there of info on it it's us made pg filaments blended with chopped carbon fiber stronger than abs and pla with more heat resistance than pla it keeps going on um, it's more stiffer and it's more heat resistant and uv resistant so that's all good information on that so this should be fun to print with never printed with that before all right, now we have PMMA from Dr. 3D Filament. And it's a clear 
Yay. Not a fan of clear filaments. Print settings, hot end temperatures 245 to 255, so really hot. Bed temperatures 90 to 100 C. Speed 30 to 40 millimeters a second, fan off, other none. So this a filament that is ideal for more experienced users of 3D printing, a tough and scratch resistant material, more commonly known as acrylic, that is simpler, similar to polycarbonate, PC, although not as strong. PMMA is made using the purest raw materials of all the filaments, blah, 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 produce premium grade polymers without fillers. So PMMA, I'm gonna say this is kinda like a high temperature uh, PETG, it's kind of what it seems like, but it's kind of its own. Uh, this one is uh, made in the UK. It says that on there, push plastic made in the USA. So it, it's squeaky. So that's interesting. This will be another CR10S print just because I, this can handle the temperatures and all that stuff, but this will be very interesting to print out with. Probably try to do, yeah. It should be interesting. All right, now we have PLA PHA Blue Gray from Color Fab in a very, very dark blue gray. Obviously, that was the name of it. All right, the print settings. Hot end temperature 195 to 220, standard PLA. Bed temperature room to 60, speed 40 to 100 millimeters per second. Info, the original PLA PHA blend from by Color Fab. This filament prints like nice creamy PLA but has the added benefit of improved impact resistance, longer shelf life, reduced moisture uptake, and more vibrant colors along a slightly matte finish. Very interesting. I do like the matte finish and I do like the longer shelf life because actually quite a few filaments because I shipped things actually held up really well during shipping and a lot of them are holding up well in this very, very humid environment. I'm sitting right around 60% uh, humidity in this room as the low point right now. Uh, I've had it up higher, but I'm starting to monitor it more. So this will be uh, nice to have. And I mean, for people that are in high humid places, Florida, for example, uh, this might be pretty good. So this should be interesting to print out with. All right, now we have the daily PLA from Printed Solid. Now this is the extra long sample that they put in. You have three regular ones and one that's 50% more. So this is actually 24 meters. All of these are only 16 meters. So the print settings on this one is 190 to 230. The bed room to 60, speed 30 to 90. Info is standard quality PLA with great everyday printing, made in USA. Enjoy 50% extra length in this. Uh, and more information is printedsolid.com forward slash economy. And it's gonna start raining real soon. There's the thunder. And this is like a, I guess red we'll call this, but it's almost like orange red. It'll be interesting to see how it actually prints out and uh, the ooh, how opaque it ends up being because some filaments look like they're opaque but you actually print them they're really not uh, but this will be interesting to print out with all right so we've got four filaments i've got lots of printers now let's get them printed and see how they turn out all right well the prints are in three good ones one didn't even happen so we're gonna buy this one first so this is the pmma by dr 3d filament and this stuff is extremely hard, like really hard, because it's basically extruded acrylic is what it is. I could not, so I had one semi-successful print, but it came up off the bed. Uh, I thought this would have stuck to PEI, it did not. So I tried putting down glue stick, I got three clogs in a row, and it just kept on clogging, clogging, clogging. I'm like, you know what, the heck with it, I'm done. So I didn't want to waste any more time trying to figure that out. I went through, probably more than half so i would not have even gotten even if those clogs would not have happened at the end there uh, i probably would not have even gotten this to actually print a full maker coin regardless so not impressed with this at all and i just i don't know what the deal with it is it's just not i don't know it's just not a great filament in my opinion maybe i'm just too i'm just not experienced enough because it says it's for experienced 3d printed users I don't know, it didn't work out for me. So if it did work out for you, please let me know. But either way, I think this one's a hard pass. Now we're taking a closer look at the other three. Okay, now first up we have the Daily PLA from Printed Solid, which just like last month's printed, absolutely excellent. This was printed on my GTEC A10 using the Prusser Slicer Edition profile that I have from John and a different firmware, uh, Marlin 1 to 1.8. And it just absolutely came out beautiful. It's got a nice shine to it completely filled in everywhere over the supports. It did a great job, truly great job on it. 
great bottom layer. You can see a little bit of the support, the preacher support. I'm not really a big fan of it, but it does leave a little bit of a rough edging on here. You kind of see a little bit still there. So you kind of just have to like take a file or something and get the rest of that off. It's definitely not as good. I mean, it's good support. It's just not as easy to clean as Simplify 3D support. Uh, around the cogs, it did a great job. So no drooping anywhere there. And again, it filled in great. No under extrusions anywhere through it. So this was a great print. All right, now we have carbon fiber PETG from Push Plastics. And this, I want more of it. I'm gonna reach out to them because this printed so beautifully. I mean, the top layers, everything about this filament looks amazing. This is printed on my Crowdy CR10S, which has a Micro Swiss all metal hot end and a Micro Swiss uh, hardened steel nozzle. So I can print high temperature and abrasive stuff, no problem whatsoever and it did a great job on this. It did print on the PEI, so I put down glue stick because it's PETG, and it sticks much better to glue stick, in my opinion. But look at the bridging on this, or let's say over the supports. You can't even tell, like that looks like normal print area there. You can't even tell that there was support, and you can't even tell that it went over support. Like, look at that. This is by far the best quality filament I have ever tested. Nothing has shown as good as quality as this. I mean, Push Plastics does some good stuff anyways, but no extrusion, no under extrusions. I mean, look at those sidewalls. It is beautiful looking, absolutely gorgeous filament. So I really like this one and I wanna get some more of it. All right, and here is the PLA PHA Blue Gray from ColorFab. This is printed on the Anycubic i3 Mega, and which I'm having a little bit of retraction problems with it. So I'm getting a little bit of these blobs. That is absolutely the, the printer, not the filament. But it turned out really, really well. So it had a really nice filled in top layers there. So that was nice. The sidewalls, really good. No under extrusions in there anywhere that I could see. Bottom layers, great. Over the support was decent. I'm not sure if it's all, I mean, it's pretty good. For PLA, it was good. Uh, and you can see in there, it did, you know, actually did a really good job. But uh, it might have done a bit better on a uh, different printer, but the uh, i3 Mega does a great job. And the cogs all are nice and rounded, no flat spots anywhere there. So again, another great filament for this month. So there you have it. I had three good filaments, one not even existent one. I'm really sad that they even included this in the Maker Box. I talked to the, the owner and he was not impressed with this stuff either, you know, but it's sent out to them. You know, they, they purchase it. It's something that they want to show to the community. It's just not a great filament. So I def, <clears throat> as I said, definitely is a hard pass on that one. As I said, the rest of these, these were great. I am absolutely push plastics. If you're watching this, you're gonna get an email from me very soon. I really wanna try a roll of this carbon fiber PETG. It just, it prints so well on that machine. I can't believe the quality came off. I wanna print a whole bunch of stuff with this. So please reply back to my email when I send it because this is great stuff. And that's going to be it, guys. So if you guys want to get a MakerBox of your own, there's a discount code and a link down in the video description. If you use that coupon code, you get 15% off your first month. And if three people sign up, I get a free MakerBox. So I greatly appreciate everyone that signs up with that. Uh, it's been a great few months lately. A lot of people signing up, so I appreciate it. And again, this is a great way to learn how to use new filaments. You know, I've never used a Carbon Fiber Pet G before. That's great. You know, the, uh, the Color Fab and the Daily PLA, never used this one before, but the Daily PLA I've had before. So it's, you know, it's a mixed bag. After you've done two years worth of these, it's kind of a mixed bag. You test a lot of filaments. And again, you even get some ones that stump you. I'm kind of glad this stumped me just because I learned a bit from it and I learned that I don't want to use it. So yay. So check that out down in the description. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you didn't, thumbs down. If talk in the comments either way. Love to hear from you guys what you thought about the video. If you guys want to stay in tune with what's going on, hit that big old subscribe button down there. And then if you hit the bell icon, you'll get an email notification or push notification to your mobile device when I upload new content or do any live streams. If you guys want to support me financially, get access to my after show, and just generally help out the channel, make sure you become a patron. Link's right below me. If you donate a dollar or more, you get access to my Patreon feed and, as I said, my after show, which I record after almost all my new videos. Videos. And that's just a little bit of bonus video that I like to give out a little more about the filaments that I'm doing or whatever I'm working on and just some personal things about where I live and what it's like doing what I do. 
So if you guys want to do any of that, again, check out that Patreon link, and I greatly appreciate it. My current patrons, you guys are always awesome. Other ways you can help me out, there's some one-time links down there, Streamlabs, buy me a coffee, or use any of my fit links down there, and there's a bunch of coupon codes as well, so you guys save some money. A little slice of what you buy with those uh, links comes back here to help me out the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, happy printing.